Hello everybody and welcome to another Transformers third party review. In today's video, thanks to the team at Iacon, we're taking a look at the eagerly anticipated Unique Toys Nero. This is their take on a movie masterpiece style Galvatron from Age of Extinction. Uh, first of all, not really a fan of the box there. Mine got a bit of a boot from the postman, but I've got that uh, truck kind of transforming sticker all the way across. Not really my cup of tea there, but uh, Galvatron himself looks pretty funky on there. Uh, that's basically all that's involved with the box. So uh, let's crack him open. And here we have him out of his plastic prison. And he looks really nice. Now, not perfect by any means. Something just off about that head sculpt. Now I've heard from Smezno, old Dave, that there may be a fourth party working on a head sculpt for this figure, which makes it more kind of screen accurate. But comparing this to the likes of the Prime Studios statue, it's not horrendously far off. You see that I've got his elbow really kind of bent up at an awkward angle there. That's just so I can get him right the way up there with his cannons, kind of a double joint. It's not a very natural double joint though, but I'll cover the articulations shortly. But uh, paint apps are sublime, pretty much what we would expect from Unique Toys. Uh, mine was incredibly top heavy. The joints on the feet are shockingly loose. I've had to key key those up, left them overnight, and they've really kind of solidified and helped him stand, but he really did rock to and fro on those little tiny ankle joints, but doesn't he look absolutely sublime? Bit of a rubbish character in the movie, in my opinion, but finally we get a decent toy out of it. Getting in nice and up close and personal. See, something just not quite right about that head. Not sure what it is. And now there is a battery compartment in the head. I took the head apart. Uh, so we have a switch on the back, nothing in the instructions about it. But I took the head apart and there is a battery compartment. I'll just show you a picture just here. I mean, it is absolutely tiny, the battery that's meant to go in there. I tried an AG0, which are incredibly small and it's smaller than those. Uh, so I'm not really sure what meant to go in there but my goodness me that was a tiny tiny little battery and i'm not entirely convinced on the void where he has no spark uh, i don't know i would like just something in there as opposed to it being completely hollow it's kind of a little bit like they just gave up <laughs> but i know he doesn't have a spark i know that's the whole thing so you could probably put like primes blade or something in there I don't know, it just looks a little tiny bit off to me, but that sculpt on the head, I know people complain about it, but it's not horrendously far off that Prime Studios one, is it? I think this is where they've built their, their kind of look from, kind of just basing it on that. I mean, we've got the blades on the arms, come around to the back. It's got a really nice, tidy back. See, this is what I thought they were gonna do with the front. That sort of thing. And then coming down to the feet. Do you see what I mean about these joints? It's this joint here. I had to put some kiki in there because it was just wibbly wobbly all over the place. So, but it's dried clear and it's really kind of solidified. I love the fact we've got these tires underneath. And he comes with the cannon, which just slots in over his hand and just tabs in. Again, even if they'd have gone for something like having this, or maybe even what I initially thought, I thought, oh, maybe we can fit the cannon kind of inside the chest. So that fills out this void. But unfortunately, that's not the case. I thought that would look pretty, pretty decent. You know what, even with Kiki on them joints, he's still trying to rock forwards, isn't he? Hmm. As far as accessories go, yes, he comes with that cam. He also comes with two 
of these missile pods made from metal. It feels like there's magnets in there, or they're just really heavy pieces of metal they just tab in. Very similar to what TFC did. Uh, we have a bar for the truck. I believe that's to go on the bumper. And then we have our figure. I guess that's meant to be Stanley Tusi. <laughs> I think, I'm not sure if that's him meant to be as Joshua Joyce, or if that's meant to be Titus Waliva as, uh, as James Savoy. I think, judging by the suit, I'd imagine that's meant to be Joshua, but there we go. <laughs> it's not the uh, cleanest of figures. But, you know, ball socketed head, arms that are on balls, legs go forwards, legs can bend. So he does exactly what you need to, but I mean, it's okay unless you get up really, really close. Now, in terms of scale, personally, I think he looks incredibly good alongside Toy World's Prime. I do have Challenger, but unfortunately he is boxed up to send to one of my Patreons. So unfortunately I can't have him in this video, but we do have a Lockdown there as well. I think they all look pretty decent together. And let's just see how he looks with the rest of the Megatrons. Here he is with the Black Mamba Megatron and the original Unique Toys Megatron. And then these two are just massive in comparison. Obviously I have my Revenge of the Fallen Megs kind of really hunched over. That's how I have him displayed. But uh, yeah, these are vastly bigger. But these are the oversized ones. These are designed to go with the oversized figures. But uh, still, you know, if they take everything from kind of Megatron's head, head-wise, they're not vastly that far off. And let's take a look at his articulation. Head, kind of look up, down, left and right. Nice upwards motion there, nice downwards motion. Lots of range. Shoulders are pinned at the back here. So we've got ratchets going up, ratchets going out, spring-loaded shoulder hinges on the armor, upper bicep rotation. Got one, and there is obviously that secondary joint on here as well, like so. But like I said, really kind of unnatural. It's designed to kind of lock in. So Use it as you see fit. Personally, I do use it for that double jointed hinge. Uh, there is a waist rotation. You've got these kind of flexible hinges around here. No abdominal crunch. Legs that can come this far forwards. Again, you've got flexible armor here. This far back, out to the side. Nice tight joints though. <sighs> nice bend on that knee. Like so, and then the feet, as previously mentioned, lots of range on those, but just a little bit too loose on that hinge for my liking. Just a little bit too much play. Now start getting him transformed up. Start off with this leg piece. I want to just untab this, like so, and then push on this joint here. So this leg will drop back and it forms a right angle. Rotate the legs inwards, open up this hinge here, and this section here is gonna flip out and around, forming the wheels. This leg is gonna flip down. This piece here rotates upwards, and you see there's a circle tab here, and this tab here, this is gonna go in, and those are gonna to push together, like so. I mean, so far the transformation is really smooth, isn't it? Uh, this just pops up, bring, these up as well and now that we've lifted these up this actually extends all the way around and we've got a tab here and a tab here on the leg and these are just going to tab in nicely on this section here and make sure that lines up with this hinge here and those are going to push and lock in together i mean that's a really 
nice smooth transformation oh the people next door are drilling the walls they've been doing work for like months and uh, they seem to wait until i start my reviews before they start drilling so yeah, apologies if you get all of that horrible exterior noise we have this small spring loaded section here i'm going to bring that out and rock this section up so it sits like so click this leg up a couple of clicks and then using this dropping hinge these are going to drop down center in to the middle like so so they're touching and these sections here touch there as well let's have them together here uh, here uh, here like so and then if you can see just underneath in the crotch there where we tab them together there's a latch they just tab there as well unplug megatron's butt plug and we have these small clips here which are a bit of a pain to get off because they are die cast so you want to unlatch them from both sides and uh, they kind of tabs in here and here so again let me just unlatch this from this side there we go and then we can open up the back of Galvatron there we go and this is where everything has all been hidden away uh, bring this section down and if we straighten up these pieces here this should allow us to bring the wheels down again on this side bring those wheels down make sure that Galvatron's head is sitting square in the middle of that chest and this is where all the magic begins to happen <laughs> uh, you want to open up these and you see here these are on these kind of ball mounted hinges uh, this is going to swivel there's a swivel here and that's going to rotate and rotate come on go with me now slide with me just slide More than one way. There we go, that's going to come down. Uh, as you can see, we've got the head underneath here. These all need to be straightened out. This needs to be tabbed in here. And this is going to come down. Uh, as you can see, we've got these little brackets. Those will come in. And those are going to tab in. And lock in on here so let's making sure that the head is clear yeah that's clear bring that down and push that in you want to unfold this extra section from the doors like so so that's going to allow the doors to kind of fold upwards grab this top panel and rotate that around like so next task is to start kind of folding everything in there this section here comes away and we want to rotate this upwards on this hinge and where are we this hinge here needs to rotate so that when this comes up this here is going to come up and line up with that tab although it is incredibly difficult to see what i'm doing whilst leaning over the camera but, come on there we go right that's in <laughs> this panel here comes down this is going to drop down and this will come around this opens up move the arm piece down this is going to rotate around and that comes in that's going to form part of that roof panel and then come around to these hands this section here is going to untap oh like so and that's gonna drop all the way down like so 
this then comes under. Make sure these hands are rotated. So this is on the palm. This can come down. And then this is going to come in. Now lift this panel up. And then as we bring this section in, move this one out of the way. And that allows this to come all the way in to the center. You can then push that in. This is going to slide in. Bend that hinge, bend that hinge. It's going to slide into that groove there. And then these two, he says, should nip together nicely, making sure that we've got these grooves here and here. That's where they slide into. If you look, these then tab in just here to the other side of here. Now it's a matter of uh, sliding everything apart. Uh, these are going to come up. This will slide out and form the roof canopy. This will slide out and form the roof canopy. He says, as it's on a ball hinge, come on. Why are you not sliding? There we go. And then we can just start bringing all of these in together. side in and in and then we can bring these sections up and they are going to push lock and tab in at various locations and then this is going to come up and sit behind and then just uh, try and <laughs> Line these bits up as best you can. Uh, doesn't really panel in as much as I'd like. I think it might be something to do with those hip joints. Maybe I haven't quite got those right. But this is the third time of trying and uh, I still keep coming out with that same result. But there we go. And we have him fully transformed up. That's not bad, is it? That's not a bad look for Galvatron there. I just need to get those back wheels slightly flatter, uh, but you know, that's pretty much everything that we need from a Galvatron figure. Doesn't really panel in as nicely as I'd like. I completely forgot to flip those back panels out. Uh, it's the last thing you have to do just to close off that back section. And I've plugged in those big chunky die cast rockets. But there we go, that is Nero, the unique toys take on Galvatron. Uh, wasn't overly complex, the transformation is actually pretty straightforward. It's just making things tab in where they're meant to. Uh, if you can't get one piece in, then chances are the rest won't tab in either. It's a little bit panel-tastic, but overall, he looks sensational, doesn't he? That's clearly a very good alt mode. It's a very big alt mode. It actually scales incredibly well with the oversized figures in alt mode as opposed to the MPM figures. But uh, this is a very expensive figure to have just stored in his alt mode. So uh, I'll keep him in his bot mode. And if they do make some sort of bootleg version of this, then I'll get that. So I'll have one for bot mode and one for vehicle, but uh, for now, I think this looks sensational. To give you an idea of just how big this thing is, uh, that's the MPM repaint of Nemesis Prime. And then we've got MP10 as well. He's a big boy. Now all the wheels roll if you apply a little bit of pressure to them, as there seems to be a little bit of clearance issues underneath there. Might be the way I've got those wheels positioned, but you know, it does what it needs to. It's a fairly tidy, ish truck. You're going to need an oversized trailer for this. Anything like the MP10 trailer, I think, would just be way too small if that's the sort of route you were taking. But uh, all in all, very happy with it. Uh, really huge shout out to the Icon Store for the hookup for this. Been on pre order for a while now. Actually, never thought we were actually going to get it. I thought I was going to keep going back and back and back and back and back. But finally, Unique Toys finished it and uh, 
it's not half bad. Let me know your thoughts in the comments section below. And until next time, from myself and the rest of the Collectibles household, thank you all for watching, a goodbye.